Let's try to solve this problem. So we have basic operations on fractions. So let's start with addition. For the first one, we have 3 fifths plus 4 fifths. So when we are adding similar fractions, meaning having the same denominator, which is the denominator of 5, so we just need to copy the same denominator 5, and then we add the numerator. So we have 3 plus 4. So 3 plus 4, that's 7 over 5. Or if you want, you can transform this into mixed number since this is an improper fraction, meaning the numerator is greater than the denominator. So you simply divide the numerator, 7, by the denominator, 5. So 7 divided by 5, that's 1. Then 1 times 5, 5. Subtract 7 minus 5, that's 2. So 7 fifths is the same as 1 and 2 over 5. For the second one, we have 5 eighths plus 2 ninths. So this time, we are adding dissimilar fractions. So if we are adding two dissimilar fractions, we can apply the butterfly method. So we multiply this 5 and 9. So that will be 45 plus the product of 2 and 8. So 2 times 8, that's 16. Then over the product of the denominators, 8 times 9, that's 72. So we add 45 plus 16, that's 61 over 72. Next, let's have subtraction. So we have 11 over 12 minus 3 over 12. So they are similar fractions having same denominator of 12. So we just copy the same denominator of 12 and then subtract the numerator. So we have 11 minus 3. So 11 minus 3, that's 8 over 12. And we can reduce this to lowest term. We divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF of 8 and 12. So that will be 4. And we will have 8 divided by 4, that's 2. Over 12 divided by 4, that's 3. So the answer is 2 thirds. For the next one, we have 9 tenths minus 6 fifths. So this time we are subtracting the similar fractions, different denominators of 10 and 6. So we can apply the butterfly method. So let's multiply this, 9 times 6, that's 54. Then minus the product of 10 and 5, so that will be 50. Over the product of the denominators, 10 and 6, that will be 60. So subtract 54 minus 50, that's 4, over 60. And this can still be reduced to lowest term. Divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF of 4 and 60, which is 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. Over 60 divided by 4, that's 15. So the final answer is 1 over 15. Next, let's have multiplication. So we have 4 fifths times 3 sevenths. So in multiplying fractions, we simply multiply the numerators and the denominator. So for the numerator, we have 4 times 3, that's 12, over the product of the denominators, 5 times 7, 35. So this is the final answer. For number 2, we have 8 ninths times 6 over 20. So, we can directly multiply the numerator over the product of the denominator. But, if you notice that you can cancel out common factors in the numerator and denominator, we can do it first so that the final answer is already in lowest term. So, I can factor out this 8 as 4 times 2. This 9, I can factor out as 3 times 3. This 6, I can factor out as 3 times 2. And this 20, I can factor out as 4 times 5. And then we cancel common factors in the numerator and denominator. So I can cancel out this 4, this 3, and uh, there's no more common factors, right? So if that's the case, we can now multiply all the factors that are not cancelled. So we have for the numerators, 2 times 2, that's 4, over the product of the denominators, 3 times 5, that's 15. So the final answer is 4 over 15. Lastly, we have the division. So we have 1 8 divided by 2 fifths. So the steps in dividing fraction is we need to copy the first fraction, 1 8, then change the operation to multiplication, and then get the reciprocal of the second fraction. So when we say reciprocal, interchange the position of the numerator and denominator. So the reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 halves. 
And then we simply apply the same rule in multiplying fraction. So we can just multiply the numerator. So 1 times 5, that's 5, over the product of the denominators, 8 times 2, that's 16. So the final answer is 5 over 16. Next, for number 2, we have 2 fifths divided by 4 six. So again, let's copy the first fraction, 2 over 15. Change the division to multiplication. And then get the reciprocal of the second fraction, 4 six. So its reciprocal is 6 over 4. Notice that we can cancel out common factors here. So I'll try to factor out the 15 as 3 times 5. The 6 as 3 times 2. The 4 as 2 times 2. So, canceling out common factors, I can cancel out 2. So, this becomes 1. Then, the 3. And then, I can cancel out this 2 further. So, this will become 1. And this also becomes 1. And then, let's multiply those factors that are not cancelled. So, for the numerator, 1 times 1, that's 1, over the denominator. So, that's 5 times 1, or 5. So, the final answer is 1 fifths. Okay, so now it's your turn. So, try to solve these problems and just comment your answers.